two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon. Smith, <laughs> excuse me. You scared me so much. <laughs> right. Stop. Alright, now that's over and done with. Hi guys, so today is Monday. I'm not in school if you can't tell. Oscar is just sat down there at the moment in his swing being loud. But yeah, as I said, I didn't go to school today because the past 48, 72 hours I have been really, really bad. The thing is you're not even crying, you're just shouting and everybody thinks you're crying and they think I'm ignoring you, but you're genuinely just talking. <laughs> So I've been ill the past 72 hours if you couldn't tell so on Thursday evening I was coming down with a cold and then it just progressively got worse throughout Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday I was a little bit better but Sunday night so like last night for me I was really really bad which is why I didn't go to school today. Um, today I woke up I'm feeling a lot better. I'm still coughing a little bit but nowhere near, nowhere near as much as I was yesterday so I'm really happy about that. It's now more in my chest, so I think I've got a chest infection. But I'm not too sure. If I don't get any better within the next 24 hours, then I'm going to go to the doctors and see if they can prescribe me some antibiotics for a chest infection or just see what they think is the best way to handle this. But I am feeling a lot better in myself and a lot more productive today. So I'm really happy about that. Um, me and my mum are just about to pop out to Primark because everyone's at school at the moment. And when I went to Primark on Thursday, I saw this really nice teddy bear jacket and I really want it. So we're going to go back to Primark today and see if they have it still. Well, not still because we're going to a different Primark. So we're going to see if that Primark has it as well because we're going to one closer to us. But I'm just wearing this Be Kind To Yourself top which I got from Primark on Thursday. And then just these shorts because it is really, really hot today. So I just whacked on some shorts because why not? I love how you can see me in the mirror like, hey. Um, but I've just whacked on these. I'm going to go to Primark and if I pick up anything, I'll let you know what I picked up. Because, you know, I feel like, as I said, last vlog is not a vlog without me showing you something I bought. Because it's just a really bad habit I've got. There's a wasp. Why is there a wasp in my room? <laughs> oh my god. Ah! But anyways, hopefully that's gonna go, but I'm gonna go out to Primark now and I will catch up with you all once we are back. So we are now back from Primark and I did actually get quite a couple of bits. Luckily, everything that I got was more or less reduced and like, I was really in shock with what I got for the prices I got them and I'm actually really happy with them. So I'm just gonna make this really quick and just show you what I got and I'm also gonna try them on for you, but I'll like put it as an overlay, so yeah. So the first thing I picked up was this little cardigan. It's in the size extra small, so it's a little bit big on me. And I got this for three pound and it was originally seven and i just think this is crazy like it was seven and i got it for three i just thought it'd be really cute in the summer just to chuck on over a little cami top or something like that the next thing i got was actually in the girl section and it's just this black off the shoulder top and i got this in size nine to ten because i am quite petite and the reason why i got this is because it was four pound down to a pound and i was like you can't go wrong with a simple off the shoulder black top just for a quid I got this really cute little yellow floral like skirt with these buttons down the side. I got this in size 10 to 11 because as I said a minute ago I'm very petite. So these are the sizes that I fit into kids clothes. And this was originally £6 and it was down to a pound again. And I was like I'm not going to not get this little cute skirt for a pound because I can wear it with just like their cardigan with a white top or something like that. I just think it would be really cute. Then picked up this stripy denim skirt. This was also in the size 9 to 10 and it was £7 down to 4 and I just think it's really cute like it's a really good length for school and it's really comfy and it's got an adjustable waist on the inside so it will definitely fit even if the waist is a bit big but I'm really happy with that. I then just picked up these charcoal grey like high-waisted leggings. These were four pounds, they weren't on reduction, but I just but I just wanted some high-waisted grey leggings. So these were four pounds, and so I got these. And then I saw these trousers and I really couldn't resist. They're just these white and blue patterned trousers, and I got them in size four, and they were seven pounds down to four pounds. I just think they're really cute. They've got a little tie waist and they're all. Oh, and it's got a really stretchy waistband and I've already tried these on and they fit and I'm so happy with them. And also in the same section that I found those trousers, I also found these ones. So these are also like a stretchy waist with a tie at waist you can, that you can make tighter from the waist. And again, I got these in the size 4 and they were 13 pounds. 
They were £13 down to five, which again, I thought was a bargain. And then the last thing I picked up was actually the original reason why I went in there. So I got this teddy bear like jacket and it was £25. It's got a furry hood and then the inside is just lined. It's not fur, but it's really, really soft. And I got this in a size extra small. And as I said, it was £25. And it's the reason why I went into Primark today because I really wanted it because I saw it in the Primark I went to on Thursday. And I didn't pick it up for some reason. Something was just telling me no. And then today I was like, no, I really want it. So my mum said, let's go Primark and get it. So they had it in my size and I got it. So that's everything I picked up from Primark. As I said, I'm now home, if you can't tell. Um, my brother's just went on the trampoline if you can't hear the trampoline. But Oscar is asleep, so I'm going to get some schoolwork done while I can. I'm going to go and do my schoolwork and just do some planning and stuff like that because it's what I need to do. Um, so I'm going to get all that out of the way now so that later on tonight I can just focus on editing videos and stuff like that that I need to do before this week because I've because I've already pre-filmed a couple of videos for this week. So make sure you're subscribed and turn bell notifications on so you never miss a video and I'm now going to go and do all my school work and really fun exciting things like that. <laughs> Azzy bum, Azzy, Azzy baby. So it's now a little bit later. I have done the majority of my schoolwork. I've still got a little bit left to do, but I'll probably do that just in my bed, just on my laptop, just like writing down when Oscar's asleep. Oscar woke up <laughs> about 20 minutes ago and it is currently 20 past nine. So we're just on my bed currently. We've got some like little blocks out. I'm on FaceTime to Zach at the moment and I said to him that tomorrow I want to use the dummy fruit things and give him some strawberries because my mum bought some fresh strawberries today. And Zach was like, why don't you just do it now? And I was like, because he's asleep or I would do it and then I came back in my room and Oscar was awake so I was like oh my god okay I'll do it now I know it's late but maybe like a little bit of food will help him sleep and I just want to see his reaction to some strawberries because obviously I'm going to school tomorrow so he's just playing with his blocks at the moment getting in a strop and I'm just about to go and fill one of the teats with strawberries <laughs> Do you like it? Does he like it? I think so. <laughs> Do you like it? Does Oscar want to hold it? <gasps> What's Oscar got? Good morning everybody. So today is Tuesday and I'm currently all ready to go to school. It's currently half seven so I'm just going to wake Oscar up and get him ready because I woke up late this morning. So I've had an hour to get ready this morning and just wake up slowly and be on my phone for a little bit and etc etc. So I'm currently dressed and I'm just about to wake Oscar up. But I'm just wearing this floral like skirt. It's just this basic white t-shirt that I've rolled up and I just think it's quite cute and basic but hey ho. I don't think today is going to be easy waking him up again like on Friday because he had such a late night last night. I don't even know how he had it. I probably went to sleep last night around 1am in the morning because he didn't go to sleep until like half 12. Like he went like he went to sleep at 6 and then woke up at like 9 and then didn't go back to sleep. And oh it's just stressing me out so. So I don't even know why but he, like the past couple of days other than last night he was fine like going to sleep at half six and then sleeping through but tonight like last night was just different so i'm gonna have to wake him up and yeah again that's gonna be really difficult so yay so i now have a sleeping baby on me that's like half a, that's like half asleep half awake so here he is he's like wriggling but he's not awake yet so so i'm gonna have to wake him up and change his bum and change his outfit and Put him in some new clothes, etc, etc. So I'm going to go and do all that now. And then I'll get back to you once he's all dressed. And I'm leaving for school. <laughs> Say hi. What you doing? 
Good afternoon, everybody. So I'm now back from school. Gosh, I am so tired. I had three lessons today and two free periods, and I didn't miss a lesson. So thank God for that. Today was really today was quite good. To be fair, it was nice to like properly start the year. Oscar is now home, and we're just currently sat on the bed having some cuddles and just some catching up time. And my mum's came and spoke to me and told me how he was and everything like that all day. So. He's been really good and perfect as per usual. I had a huge dilemma this morning because I didn't know what to wear. So I didn't actually wear what I wanted to wear. So now I'm going to pick out what I want my outfit to be for tomorrow. Sorry about that. My brother came in and then scooped Oscar up and then put him on the floor for some reason. So Oscar is currently just crawling. Well, not crawling, but just cruising around on the floor there. But anyways, as I was saying, I was in a rush this morning to pick my outfit. Ruined. You, you scared either him or Brandy. Oh, I'm sorry to both of you. You should be. Oh yeah, because I know you're not going to be long. I'm going to wait until you put your camera down. So, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan my outfit for tomorrow now. You're a <laughs> <laughs> You're an absolute <laughs> Oh, Oscar, what are we going to do? Oscar. Oscar. Hello. <laughs> You're very aggressive with your name. Okay. I'm really sorry, my brother's been really annoying because we just got home from school. But anyways, so I'm going to choose my outfit. I think I already know what I'm going to wear, but I'm just going to put it on and make sure I wanted to wear it. But I just thought I'd say that I finally got the textbooks that I needed to get. Sorry, I've had to change position because of the light book. Because of the light. But anyways, as I said, I've got these two books for maths for year one. And then I just got the chemistry A-level, like, uh, textbook. So it's really quite thick compared to, like, the math one. That it is quite big and chunky, so it did hurt my arms so much. And then this is the biology one, which is even thicker than the, the chemistry one. I don't know if you can tell. So I had to carry all of these books around, which are really, really heavy. And I had to carry them around all day. And my shoulder actually hurts so much. So my back aches so much. But other than that, I also had a meeting today that I was supposed to have yesterday and um, it was about like my timetable and stuff. And I asked if I can have my afternoons off. Now per fortnight, so every two weeks, I only have I only have three free periods as my fifth period. So our timetable is mentor period one, period two, break, period three, period four, lunch, period five. So I only have three every two weeks where I have fifth period, it's a free period. And I was like, can I go home at lunch on those days? And my school was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. We don't see an issue with that. So on Tuesday, Wednesdays and Fridays on week two, I get to go home at lunchtime, which is 1.20, which is really good, which means I just don't need to stay at school for another hour and 45 minutes, which I don't need. So I'll probably be meeting up with Zach then, and then me and him will go and get lunch. Then I'll go home for that extra hour and do work here, or just something like that. They said for mornings, because on Friday week one, I don't have a lesson until third period, which is 11 o'clock. And on Mondays and Tuesdays, week two, I don't have a period until period two, which is like 10 o'clock. So they said that on those days, school said that if I have like a troubled morning or a troubled night on those days, then I can just come in when I have my first lesson. It's not a stress, but they, they do ideally want me in because we have mental first, which I completely understand that. So I get to have Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday afternoon off. And occasionally I have a Friday, Monday and Tuesday morning which isn't too bad, but obviously, as I said, our week is spread over two weeks. I just have to take each night as it comes for the morning, but Oscar isn't really troubled at night, but it's more for, like, when he's teething, and if he's, like, up during the night, then maybe on, like, say he was up all night on a Thursday, and I was, like, really, really tired the Friday, instead of me going, instead of me going to school at 8 o'clock, I wouldn't have to come into school until 11 o'clock, because that's not when my first, that, because that's when my first lesson is. So it's just like that, it's just play each day as it comes for the morning. And then also today, because I had a free before lunch, I was messaging Zach my whole free. And then I had lunch, and then I was like, yeah, I'm on a free right now, and then I've got lunch. So then around 1.40, which is like my lunch, he messaged me like, are you on your lunch yet? And I was like, yeah, I'm on my lunch, like, what's, what's up? And then he was like, look at the gate, and because obviously all our years have like a separate place on the, like, playground i don't really know our school is like closest to like the fire exit kind of thing which you don't use in it as an exit but it's like a, a gate that you can like see and there's an alleyway 
and there's an alleyway going back down the side of that gate which you can exit out of and go to a leisure center so um i was like yeah like so he was like he so he rang me and was like where are you and i was like i'm on a blue bench at the moment why and then he was like i can't see you and i was like what what do you mean you can't see me because he literally was because he literally works around a two minute walk from my school so i was like what do you mean you can't see me so i stood on the bench so everybody around me can see me standing on a bench and there's me looking over all these herd of people and watching Zach walk down the alleyway. And here's me on the phone like, no, don't you dare come by. Like, what? No, don't. And then he comes by and he stands at the gates and he's like, hi, baby, come to the gate. And then ends the phone. So then I walk over to the gate and I'm like, what are you doing here? And he was like, I got my break, so I bought you some food. So we had chicken and potato lattices, which is my favourite. So he gave me a couple of them. And then he also bought me a bag of hula hoops. So I've got a little bag of hula hoops. But I didn't eat the hula hoops because my mum made me a pack lunch today and she wrote a little note being like good luck at school and all this and it was really cute it just took me back into primary school moment like oh my gosh I miss it so much but he literally met me and we were just talking like through the gate for like 20 minutes and then I went back to my table because his lunch break ended because he went on his break early so he could go get the food to come and meet me it makes absolutely no sense apparently he's going to do that more often <laughs> so, like come to the gate and bring me food bless him but then on the Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday I can I get off at lunch lunch so i'll meet him for lunch on those days oh wait he's not at work on wednesdays oh that just means i get the afternoon with him so i have longer afternoons with him on wednesday and then that means on tuesday and fridays me and him can go out for some lunch because obviously we've got a couple of places that we can go for lunch close by and he has an hour for his break so that's what we're gonna do so that's the plan for school now onwards i've been 16 now for 11 months and i have never bought my first lottery ticket or scratch card so today i bought my first scratch card didn't win anything and i bought a lottery ticket as well for today for like because it's tuesday the 15th so i bought a lucky dip for tonight see if i become a millionaire bet you i won't but I bought a lottery ticket, so we'll just have to see if I've won anything from there. But I just thought that was, like, pretty cool, because I've never bought a lottery ticket before, so... Yeah. Update, I didn't win. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Um, Zach's hopefully coming... Zach's hopefully coming around tonight. I'm gonna plan my outfit quickly, and then I will be back with you all guys later. Probably doing more work or something like that, or playing with Oscar, or just... Just stuff like that. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. So today is Wednesday. I think. Bloody hell, it's already Wednesday. But, um, sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday. Zach came around, Zach came around, obviously, as I said. And then he ended up staying over be because he had Wednesday off. So, he stayed round last night. And then that's why I didn't really vlog much. And then today, I obviously got up, went to school. And the second I woke up, I, w I just woke up in floods of tears. I don't know why. I was just having a really bad day. Everything was just going wrong and I just I just couldn't be bothered. So I went on the bus, got to school and just before I walked in the school gates, I ring Zach because I literally just have a breakdown, like it was really bad. And then because obviously he was here looking after Oscar, um, he then went and told my mum and my mum was like, right now you're not going to school like this, come home. So I had the day off as like a mental health day because I was just, I was just really in a bad place this morning. I don't know why, but I... But I was, so my mum came and picked me up and then Zach went out for a little bit and he went to do some jobs and everything like that. And then he's now coming back in a minute and then he's going to go home again tonight. So everything will be back to normal from tomorrow. But I just thought I'd like give you a quick little summary of what's happened because obviously that's what I do vlogs for. I like to keep you in a loop. So I had like today off as a mental health day but I've done loads of work so I'm really happy with that. I've got a bit more work to do tonight. But right now, I'm literally not doing anything. I was just sitting out in the living room with Oscar in the bounce set, as you can hear him. And we were just watching some TV as my mum went and collected him because his bike's broke, which we love that. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting out with Oscar and I'm going to have to go back because he's moaning. But once I've sorted him out and everything like that, I'm going to come back in here for 10 minutes, do some work and just get my head down because I need to do that for tomorrow. And then tonight will be like a normal night and then tomorrow will be getting up going to school and back onto the grind of everything and then just oh i don't know but i've been so tired all day today and i've just been knackered and i just i just did not want to go to school today but the thing is i really like my outfit today which is really annoying but you know we gotta move with that so i don't actually think i've spoke about my opticians yet but i was supposed to have the appointment last thursday at 3 30 or something like that 
and my mum really got the date wrong and it was supposed to be a week on Thursday so I'm really annoyed because my mum won't have time to go from my school to the optician place because she picks me up quarter to four so we're not really going to make it there in minus 15 minutes so I've got to miss my optician appointment this time I booked one like I need my eyes tested but it's okay because I've booked an appointment now and I've got it for Monday next week after school I think so I'm just going to walk down to the opticians because the one my mum was booking was like a car journey the one that I just booked is just like five minute walk from school so I'm going to go there and I'm just going to pick me up after. I've got to wait even longer for my optician's appointment which means I just can't see for longer which is just really annoying. Like I get such bad headaches at school it's it's horrible like I've only been back at school two days and like, it's, it's already playing up like crazy. Hi guys, it's a little bit later now and I've got Oscar with me currently doing some revision. He was asleep, but then he just woke up. So now he's awake and I'm going to change his bum, get him changed out of these clothes, grab his sit me up, put, put that up and play with him with some toys while I'm doing my work. Because I have to write notes on the modules that we're like doing, like step by step. So, so what I'm doing is I'm putting like classwork in my binders and then textbook work in... Uh -huh. And then having the notebooks as like, as like textbook work. And then I'm going to be doing all the questions separately and putting them in like the folder that I've got for each subject if you looked at my back to school haul or something like that. But I'm thinking on my second channel of doing like study with me's. So if anybody want to like see that then I'll do it but I don't know. Because it will take some time to edit it but like I'm willing to put it in if you guys want to watch it. So I'm thinking of doing that but I don't know yet because like every day I'm doing work at the moment so... Might as well put it to some use. He's playing in a sit me up. Callum will probably play with him as well. Will you play with him? He's upset now. He says, Will you play with me, Callum? Oh, okay, I will. <laughs> okay. Okay, baby. I will play. <laughs> Callum came in because Oscar started crying because he woke up from it like a nap and he wasn't very happy. So he was really nice. And now we're just having a good old time and gonna play. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this vlog here I'm gonna carry it on tomorrow on Thursday and I'm gonna carry it on like Thursday onwards for Sunday's vlog so I hope you all had a good start to the week and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video if you did enjoy this video then please do subscribe and hit the bell notification follow me and Oscar on all our social medias and we'll see you all again in my next video bye